So this is gonna be a quick video about electric trucks and why I'm personally choosing not to buy one. I know a lot of people are excited for them, but I personally think they're somewhat of a bad idea and I think we should be building something else instead. Now for the last few years, I've been running electric vehicles every single day. I've had six Teslas, I've had the Taycan, um, I've had plug-in hybrids. And before that, I actually worked on gasoline engines. I have a lot of experience buying and selling beater cars and fixing them up. Um, I've rebuilt engines, I've built cars from the ground up entirely, and my dad's a mechanic and so I kind of grew up in a mechanic shop, so I, I know a lot about cars. Also I've had Lamborghinis, I have a GT4 and a Lotus right now, I've had like 60 cars, so I know a lot about vehicles. And I'm saying all that because I want you guys to know that I really think this stuff out when I think about vehicles, and I think electric trucks are not very usable for most people, and I don't think most people can afford them. And even if you can afford them, I think they're somewhat illogical to purchase. So first off, the range while towing is awful, especially for a truck that's like $100,000. You are much better off buying a beater truck off of Craigslist and then towing with that than to buy this expensive electric truck that doesn't have the range. Especially during the winter. Imagine somebody has a work truck, they're running it in cold temperatures, and they need to tow a trailer. That just seems like a nightmare. Also, if you go to any EV charger in America, they do not have drive through ones that you can use with a trailer. I've seen some people use EVs with trailers, but they have to disconnect them and then they hook up the charger second. And that's a big pain in the butt. And here in Las Vegas, we don't have a single EV charger that you can use with trailers. There's one outside of town, but that is it. And it's actually not even working yet. I tried it the other day because my Model X had a bunch of bicycles on a rack in the back connected to the tow hitch. And I tried to use that charger at Barstow and it wasn't turned on yet. Furthermore, I don't think they're gonna make EV chargers that are towing friendly anytime soon. They're still building out the network for electric cars and I don't think it's their main priority to make some chargers for towing. Next problem with electric trucks is the insurance premium. Think about this guys, the Cybertruck is stainless steel unibody. If you get that thing into an accident, it's gonna be totaled with very little damage, okay? There is no way that you can repair those flat pieces of stainless steel at all. And um, people will say, oh, you don't have to repair it. It's so strong. That is absolutely false. In an accident, you're gonna have to have a crumple zone so everyone inside the vehicle doesn't die. And using something like stainless steel or having massive battery packs that electric trucks use will increase the likelihood of having to do a claim where the car is totaled. And that will be reflected in your premium. It's gonna cost a lot of money to insure these electric trucks over other electric vehicles. Also, these are $100,000 vehicles. That's a lot of money in a car and a lot of people do not have that. If you look at the average American income and the average consumer debt, that there's no way they can afford an electric truck. Absolutely not. And that leads me to the next downside. A truck is meant to be beaten up, okay? It's meant to get dirty, it's meant to tow things, it's meant to throw dirty bikes in the back, and I don't think that people that are buying electric trucks are going to be using them for that. I think they're going to be filling up the back with Costco groceries and going home. And then they're gonna drive to work, and then they're gonna drive home. A truck is meant to go out into the middle of nowhere and go shooting with your friends, towing stuff, getting dirty, throwing bikes in the back, and I don't think the people buying these electric trucks are gonna actually be doing that. At least the friends that I have that have ordered the electric trucks are not the type of people to actually use a truck as it's intended. And that is pretty assumptive, and I am making a generalization here, but if you look at the people that are pre-ordering the Cybertruck, most of them have never had a truck before. For. All right, they're software engineers, they're Elon Musk fanboys, and they don't know what it's like to even have a truck. And if you think about the cost of an electric truck, you could easily buy an electric car, a small efficient one that you can run with solar power, and then have a cheap beater truck on the weekends so that you can have towing capabilities, you can get it dirty, and you won't have to care about it. Um, the insurance premium will be a lot cheaper and it will be a lot more easier for people to afford. Now, none of these arguments actually apply to like the Tesla Semi. I actually think that's incredible and I think it actually will do very well. But this electric truck thing for the average consumer is just ridiculous. Now something that confuses me is we have gasoline trucks, hybrid trucks, and electric trucks. Why isn't anyone making a plug-in hybrid truck? 
that's cheaper to insure because it doesn't have a massive battery pack. Also, that makes it cheaper overall for the total cost of the vehicle. And the moment that you need to tow something, you'll have a gasoline engine. But when you're driving through town, you can use all electric and you could power it off grid. So that would be the best of all worlds. And this would solve pretty much everything that I just complained about. I do not understand why they're not building those. That would be perfect. Now for this YouTube channel, I have a work van and I'm not gonna swap it out anytime soon. It does its job perfectly. It's very cheap to insure and to run it. Um, and to spend that kind of money on electric truck is just silly. I know it gets a lot of views to talk about electric trucks on YouTube, but I don't care. I'm not gonna be covering them because I don't think that they're practical for most people. This channel is about DIY and things that anyone could do at home, and I don't think most people could buy an electric truck. If you think I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments section below, and please let me know what you think about a plug-in hybrid truck, because that would be so cool. I think about that all the time, and I am so so confused as to why these companies are not building that. That would be the best of both worlds and you could do anything and it would be cheaper. It would be so nice. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.